Kora. Ko Andrea Toku Ingoa, no te whare putaiao o Akarana ki te tonga. Hi, I'm Andrea, branch manager of South Auckland House of Science. And joining me today is a fellow scientist and someone I look up to. Oh hey, how's it going down there? Pretty good actually. What, what, so what am I doing here? Ah, well Joel, you're here today to help me demonstrate this amazing food for thought kit. Hikai Mahi Hidenaro, kindly sponsored by Hubbards. Groovy! So, what can we do first? How about we start with an activity called No Way, as in W-H-E-Y. No way! Yes way! You know what we're going to do? We're going to curdle some milk using vinegar. It's just like when you vomit up a milkshake and it's all clumpy, like the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. It lowers the pH and the proteins in the milk start to clump together. This activity is called the wobble, or titaka. Firstly, students make jelly using jelly crystals, and then this one, we use three different concentrations of gelatin. You can see, too little gelatin, and it won't set. But just the right amount, and you get that wobble. This activity is called Something's Up. Whoa, what's up with that? It's either baking soda or baking powder. Students have to figure out which powder is which by the reaction with water or vinegar. So I just put these in each test tube? Uh-huh. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. Water into tube A. Water into tube B. Very slow reactions. Not much happening. Vinegar into tube A. Whoa, look at it go! Vinegar into tube B. It's going. Not so vigorous though. So Joel, did you figure out which powder was baking soda? I would have to go with test tube A because it had a much more vigorous reaction. How far? So Andrea, what's this for? That cucumber is for cucumber chemistry. Mataranga matu cucumber. We're going to make that rather turgid cucumber flaccid. Well, slices of it anyway. Oh, cool as a cucumber. Pretty cool. And Joel, can you explain what a hygroscopic substance is? Hygroscopic substance is something that likes to attract water. So let's put some salt on these cucumbers and see what happens. One hour later. The control, still turgid salt, made it flaccid. And there's also a discussion for the older children about future food innovations. With the world population set to increase by about 80 million people per year. 80 million? I know, that's a lot, isn't it? Current food practices cannot sustain this population growth. So what can we do about it? Well, we need to find other sources of protein, whether that's those grown in the lab, mm -hmm. plant-based protein, or even insects. Oh, insects. Yeah, did you know there's over 2,000 types of edible insects, like hoo-hoo grubs, caterpillars, or even crickets. Crickets. Hey Joel, you want to give these a go? Heck <laughs> yeah, I do. Have you ever had a cricket before? Uh, no, I actually haven't. Well, you're in for a wild ride. Can't wait! Eat it. Just eat it. You ready to give this a go? Why not? Yeah. Oh, love that smell. Cheers! Cheers! Actually. That's really good. Can I have another one? Mmm. Sure. Yum. You can really taste the delicious protein. And since you ate that cricket, Joel? Oh, I ate more than just one. <laughs> you get to have the sticker. Oh, all right. I ate an insect today. Well, thanks for coming in, Joel, and helping me demonstrate this Food for Thought kit. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, it was a heck of a lot of fun. I had a great time, and I ate a few crickets while I was at it. <laughs> okay, kaki ti anō. We'll catch you later. House of Science, that's where it's at. <laughs>